You got to keep working at peace and that you got to keep monitoring it because things flare up. Left, 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 right, left. You need a, a, an independent neutral capability there, uh, sort of like a referee. We've recognized that once the adrenaline goes down and the sense of urgency is not there anymore, uh, that the traumas that you live, they do have an impact on your psychological balance. You're not just watching something on TV, you are actually reliving it. And you actually hear the suffering, you hear the pain, you hear the thirst, you feel it. And so it becomes very profound and it regenerates a lot of the angst that you've lived already in the past. I became suicidal because there was no, there was no other solution. I went public in 97 with my own PTSD and, and essentially called it an operational stress injury. And so it became honorable to be injured that way, just like when you're injured physically. I've seen some of our own fall and give the ultimate price of their life for the object of peace. I believe that uh, humanity is seeking serenity, that humanity does not want to go into a constant survival mode, it wants to thrive. And in order to do that, it's got to build lasting peace. It might take a couple centuries to bring lasting peace and a far grander perspective for humanity than simply trying to handle the survival on this planet. But to do that, we have got to sustain our desire to go well beyond our borders.